Ah, good evening, Tara. How are you doing? I'm okay. I still have a cold. Has it not got any better? No. Crap, I, I, I had the same shit going this year, too. What the hell? I have my cough drops. That's good. I sound really sexy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's not have a fight in here. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell was that? Scuffle. So, um, I got, uh, uh, well, two things we have to talk about before we get started with the uh, nonsense tonight. Uh, first off, uh, next week, Halloween! Halloween! Which means it's time for a tradition here at Radio Dead Air. Yes, it is. It's the Hooker Wayne tradition. Now, I want to be very clear about this. We at Radio Dead Air in no way shame or look down upon human sexuality and the exploration thereof. What we are concerned about is costumes that, for example, sexy potato, because it implies, for example, that someone wants to fuck a potato. Costumes that are sexy that goddamn shouldn't be, like yes. sexy handmade, or you know, which is so many levels wrong. Sexy Finding Nemo, you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. they did all the sexy Muppets. <sighs> yeah, so that's what we need you at home to do is send uh your 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 best worst um look go my fly my monkeys um i want you to find uh horrible uh costumes for this year and next year for uh i mean next year next week we will explore them here and we'll have a special double length episode like, we're not opposed to sexiness no sexy is cool we're opposed to stupid sexiness, stupid, weird, awful sexiness. Yeah, this is like like we did sexy corn. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold, corn. All right. So that's that's the one thing. And the second thing I want to talk about is quickly before we get started with the um, Sarah had a birthday recently and I got her uh, a belated birthday gift. And um, I think I've heard about this gift. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's... it's Hello? Uh, there it goes. Oh. Uh, now, I don't, I don't want to talk out of school. But this thing has, shall we say, um, a conspicuously powerful motor in it. <laughs> like, um, Dan gets it. Dan Dan picks right up on it immediately. Uh, <laughs> Dan's a goddamn pervert. Dan is. That is that is a true thing. If I'm, it, it's it's sound <laughs> and motion activated. Oh, they want us to have a duel. <laughs> Your triple no versus my hippo. Okay, all right. Well, internet, this this. I'm a happy hippo. What the f just happened? <laughs> I Sorry. keep a little stop it, stop it, him. stop it. Doesn't really balance well, but Simba just out of the room. Oh, did we scare Simba away? <laughs> Sorry, Simba. Just like fuck <laughs> this. No, I'm I'm just saying the triple motor is um. So it has multiple uses. Speaking of things that you shouldn't find oh, sexy. It's machine washable. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right. It's an important feature in a vibrating triple. Uh, let's get to the nonsense tonight. I wasn't expecting it to be that powerful, but this thing just this could shake a table. It's like, what the fuck? When I worked at Sephora one Christmas, we sold a vibrating rubber ducky. We got a lot of complaints about that. And they, we didn't sell any. Like, any like we we like discounted it down to like a dollar 
before they finally moved. It was ridiculous. Many years ago on this show, we had that uh, that Harry Potter Quidditch, yeah, Quidditch broom, the vibrant, yeah. Uh that's kind of clever, though. <laughs> I mean, at least that's clever. Uh, all right, let's get to the nonsense. Each week, Catherine goes out. The world via interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things, and the radio to the audience. And uh, bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the fuck is wrong with you? And um Where are we starting this week? Um I, where we're ending up is pretty bad. Um where we're starting off is just like, really? This is there are some things you feel like you shouldn't have to tell people. That they should just come upon on their own, or just generally be part of the human condition that does not need to be um elaborated. Uh, it's just don't do this stupid thing. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Don't whiz on the electric fence. And in this case, um, don't put toothpaste in your vagina. <sighs> We're off to a roaring start this week. Um, doctors sound the alarm on new designer vagina trend. <laughs> I just want to say that phrase one more time. New designer vagina trend. To use toothpaste to tighten. Why would that even work? Medical experts have raised an alarm following reports on an increasing number of women are using toothpaste to tighten their vaginas. Um, Dr. Ol Yusuf issued a plea to women via the uh, news agency of Nigeria late last week uh, in comments that were soon backed by specialists across the world. Toothpaste is caustic and too abrasive for sensitive body part like the vagina, and using it on such can destroy the organisms meant to protect the vagina. Um, concern was echoed by British specialist Vanessa McKay. Uh, it is a myth that toothpaste will tighten the vagina, she said. How did this myth begin is what I need to... Where, how did we get from... They don't make firming toothpaste. How, how did we get from, you know... I. Maybe I should do some kegels to uh, freaking. Maybe I should stuff myself with toothpaste. Also, ladies, your vagina is fine. Yes, our vaginas are fine. Like, maybe you two can back me up on this as a couple of straight dudes. Like, by the time a dude's there, he's just fucking happy to be there. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's like the Emmys. I'm just happy to be nominated. That, and if he's concerned know. that it's the wrong color, that it that like your labia are not symmetrical, which the fuck BT out. BT dubs nobody's are, that like it's not tight enough, like whatever, kick him the fuck out. Yep. Throw the whole fucking man away. Your vagina is fine. Okay, fine. Let, we've we've established that. Now, how did we get from there to toothpaste? Is my question. That's the that's the concerning issue here. I I don't even understand why. How does it work? I mean, tooth. It doesn't have alcohol in it, so it doesn't contract. You know, it's not like no. It's it's, it's toothpaste. It's yeah. It's got mint, but you could just put mint in there. I just you I don't that either. No, no, you shouldn't do that either. But you know, it'd be cheaper. And like one of my sisters gave my other sister a facial as kids with toothpaste and like burned her skin. Yeah, because to- I know toothpaste looks like some sort of cream, but yeah. guys, it's oh. it's it's an ab- it's made to scrub through things on a hard surface. It's made to yeah. polish bone, essentially. Yeah. It's not made for skin. It's certainly not made for very sensitive skin with a lot of nerve endings. That is not exposed to a lot of abrasive things. Boomoof says minty fresh fagoo. Uh, no. Uh, Your also smells fine. It, you, I don't want to, I, I don't, you don't want to be in that vicinity and go, is that Colgate? Yeah. No, that's, that's not, uh, you don't, you don't want that, what the hell? I just, I'm still just, how did this start? Who thought of this? Whose fucking idea was this? Oh, yeah, it'll totally like, work. I would kind me. of understand it if the trend was shove a tube of toothpaste up there and try and hold it all day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that's just kind of like kegels, and it's dumb kegels, but whatever, at least mm-hmm. it makes sense. 
There are no ingredients in toothpaste that'll do that. No, there are not. There are not. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on to uh, another thing that keeps popping up around here. Um, remember a while back we had that lawyer who base jumped onto the uh, the courthouse? Yeah. This is a situ- this is something I don't. Base jumping is parachuting for people too cheap to get a plane, essentially. Okay. Isn't it parachuting without a parachute? No. Like your suit is the parachute? No. No. Base jumping is, it's, it's, it's instead of jumping out of plane, you climb up to a tall building and just jump off because you're too cheap to run a plane to jump out of. Oh. Um. I thought it was when you had the suit that you look like a flying squirrel in. No. Oh. That's not a real thing. It is. It doesn't work. Okay. You'll, you'll die. It's like, I'm, t- I'm thinking of Wiley e. Coyote and that that one that that bat, that Acme Batman app outfit. I mean, I'm um, not going to do either one. So, so um, okay. Base jumping is one of those things. It's just like really a dick. Uh, and we, we had another one. And this, this this guy, the nerve of this guy, is what's getting to me on this one. Illegal base jumper calls 911 on himself after cell tower mishap. A base jumper who jumped oh, dear. who jumped illegally from a northwestern Wisconsin cell phone tower ended up calling police after his parachute became caught in a guy wire, leaving him dangling perilously 50 feet above the ground. They say a 20-year-old man jumped from a 300-foot charter communications tower um after his rescue at around 9.30 a.m., the man was treated at the Mayo Clinic. Base jumping stands for Building Antenna, Span, and Earth. The four common objects which base jumpers launched the descent. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I thought it was like you were jumping off a base. Yeah. <sighs> okay. The more you know. And we learned something. We're learning things. Number one, um, don't fuck with a cell tower. No. Because I, I don't even care. You know what? If you're going to fuck with a ser- cell tower, I don't even care about you. You're going to screw up my cell phone. Is what I'm concerned about. I mean, I'm also concerned about you dying. Maybe. Maybe. But, you know, I, I, want, I, want, my, I want my tunes while I'm driving. You know? Like I have my Pandora. Like, parachutes aren't going to be effective around things they can get tangled in. Yeah. Um, Professional jumper offer of things, but I figured that out. I just, you have to, he called the police, uh, he's doing something incredibly illegal, and he calls the police to save him. You can't imagine they're sitting there going, should we get him down? In a minute. Yeah. In a minute. We'll we'll just... Let him hang for a bit, think about his choices. Yeah. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's our lunch. What can't we uh, it's, it's just it clicks and pops? I sorry. Yeah. <sighs> just the nerve of these. It's look. These are not structures that were made for you. These are purpose built things. It, it, it's it's the arrogance of thinking I can do whatever the fuck I can do wherever I want. I did no no. Screw you. How bored are you? How bored are you? Yeah, to jump. Well, you know what? I can understand maybe parachuting or zip lining or stuff like that, but don't. There are resources for this. You know, there are places and things you can go and do these things. Some fucking volunteer work. (laughs) Tribute to society instead of being a fucking idiot. This this is like, this is like uh, guys who cheat at online video games. Like, why? You could have just done the video game the right way. Just get a plane. Just go jump out of plane. It takes lessons. Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this? I don't like it. Um. All right, this next one. I didn't know what this was. One of those stories. Sometimes I have stories. I don't know whether I'm gonna put on my tech show or this show. It's debate back and forth sometimes. Um. I don't know if you've been aware. Maybe some of you at home have been aware. This is a thing that's been going on. Uh, Amazon has been quietly re- replacing uh, its use of FedEx and UPS and even the Postal Service with their own Amazon delivery drivers. They're yeah. trying to make this a thing. Only they're trying to make this a thing in a shoddy, haphazard sort of 
oh, we'll just contract it out and people will figure that out and it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And um, guess what? Uh, it's it's not. It's not fine. Uh, driver delivering Amazon packages arrested for stealing. Uh, driver swiped, swiped six thousand dollars worth of goods. That's especially comforting, considering they wanted to give everybody a thing that would let the Amazon drivers just walk in your house. Remember that? Yeah. So they're not even vetting the people you're supposed to let into your house. That's great. Uh, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg police charged Daniel Enrique Garcia Zambrano. That's a great name. I like, I love that. I love the dude's name. I gotta say, I don't love what you did, but dude, you got, you got a great name. That's awesome. Um, who delivers Amazon packages on Tuesday for grand theft and dealing in stolen property. Investigators say, uh, Zambrano took several packages straight from his delivery truck to his apartment. Instead of dropping off several expenses, appliances, and electronics, uh, Zambrano brought the items to his apartment. In total, he swiped more than 6,000 goods over a two-month period. Uh, he'd only worked there for seven months. So, let's see what happened here. Um, two, for over two months, stuff is disappearing on this dude's route. Yeah expensive stuff yeah and the thing is they track their drivers pretty closely because like we have prime and we get text messages like your package is nine stops away your package is six stops away and then they literally text you a photograph of the driver's hand placing it on our step yeah. so like it's not like you weren't going to get caught, man. Like, they live up your ass. Well, they do and they don't. See, those people who are doing the tracking, are, are, it, this is a weird way of Amazon's doing this. Amazon is not actually running the, a company, a, 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 a delivery driver company. What they're doing is they're sort of subcontracting out franchises to let people buy in and contract for, to Amazon and owe Amazon money. So they're not really employees. They're getting paid, but they are, but they aren't. It's one of those wonderful employees like so five years ago. Yeah, it's 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 one of those innovations in the market. So this is not one central authority with like a reporting system and like managers and all that. No, this is just a bunch of people doing shit. And Amazon still has no idea what the hell they're doing about all this. Which means for two months, a dude can be like, yoink. Is it like Uber? Yeah, it is. It is kind of like Uber. Um, the, these are people who... The, 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 Amazon contracts out a company forms in the city, and then that those people get drivers on a flex gig economy basis to deliver Amazon stuff. And sometimes those drivers have shown up to my house, not in those Amazon trucks, which are... They have those now. Um, they've shown up in their own cars. To like deliver stuff, it's weird. All of our Amazon stuff comes in unmarked white vans. That's uh, weird. No, it's, really? No, I've seen it come in like cars. Oh, yeah. I always see like the definitely has listening equipment mm. inside it van. Yeah, but for you know, if if for like even three times on a FedEx route, something goes missing, the same guy, the same shift, the same time, yeah. and. My my brother-in-law owns a fleet of FedEx trucks, and he, he has cameras in all his trucks. Like, they don't fuck around. And if it's the post office, holy shit, okay. that's, that's federal. That's bad. You're, yeah. You don't screw with the mail. That is goodbye. This is haphazard and lazy, and you know what? I don't, I honestly don't blame this guy for thinking he can get away with it, because... Yeah, exactly. he did for a while. Two months he did, till they went, wait a second. Two months. Like he flew too close to the sun. You gotta, like, <laughs> you gotta take like one thing. One, like, big, one big ticket thing item. Right. Every like couple of months. Right. You don't just take a bunch of shit all the time. Right. Because then right. it's obvious. No, no. Packages get lost occasionally. Maybe lift something while you're covering a different route one day. Spread the blame. Well, and this is the thing, what this indicates is that the monitoring for these drivers is exceedingly lax. Yeah. Like Which said, I, is the opposite of what I thought, because they, like, they can tell you 
if your package is down the block, if your package is at Wawa because the van needed gas. Well, no, I've actually had them say, oh, I can't find that house, or they weren't home. They, they do that all the time. We are. You didn't knock. You didn't check. You lied. They do that. Um, I can remember I got one package from Amazon, and there's like, uh, this street doesn't exist. And I'm, I was actually in my living room looking out the window. Nobody drove down. Nobody. So, yeah. Maybe it was like a Mandela effect thing. <laughs> like in a mirror universe, your street doesn't exist. And they crossed over by accident. <laughs> <sighs> All right. They just were slacking off, though. Next up. Um, uh, oh, God. Just the, the, the headline here is killing me. Florida man uses badge from eBay to impersonate officer. Suspect says he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. Really? Oh, look at that mugshot. Yeah, that's that's that's. <laughs> oh, bless. I. All okay, right, let's just pause right there. You bought a police badge off eBay, and you didn't think you were doing anything wrong. He did more than that. Oh, yeah. Florida man used a badge he purchased from eBay and red and blue lights installed in his vehicle in an attempt to impersonate law enforcement. Officer patrolling Tuesday night on Colonial Drive and Mills noticed a black four-door Acura. An Acura. What police department's paying for Acuras? With flashing red and blue lights on its dash that appeared to be attempting to pull over another driver. Police said the driver turned off the flashing lights when he noticed the officer's patrol vehicle. Officer said he followed the Acura, which began speeding and weaving between vehicles in an erratic manner. Traffic stop was conducted, and the driver, 62-year-old Jose Santiago, displayed his wallet and a five-point star badge with Deputy Sheriff Charlotte County, Florida, imprinted on it. Police said Santiago admitted to buying the badge on eBay. Um, he told the officers he's not in law enforcement. <laughs> this killed me. He's not in law enforcement, but his cousin is a trooper. <laughs> Your cousin is here. <laughs> I didn't think I was doing anything wrong, but the second the cops showed up, I burnt rubber out of there. Yeah. You didn't think you were doing anything wrong when you bought fake police lights, a fake badge, and started pulling people over? Wait, in addition to the red and blue lights, Santiago's, Santiago's Acura had a police athletic league license plate with a thin blue line license plate cover and a United States of America law enforcement police officer vanity plate on the front bumper. Santiago. Wow! Santiago told the officer he's volunteered excessively with law enforcement agencies and didn't think it was illegal to use red and blue lights to gain certain traffic privileges. <clears throat> Dude, if it wasn't illegal, everybody would be doing that shit. Everybody. Every everybody. Man, you 10 minutes late for work? Woo! Woo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't know. I, just, I, I, just, I thought it was I thought you could do this. I like... Was that I like, wrong? I, like, donated to the fundraiser last year. That basically makes me a cop, right? I'm kind of like... I'm like, you know... <laughs> Caught by proxy, you know. I watch a lot of live PD. <laughs> oh god, I hate live PD. That is the worst. Oh, that is a live PD is a disease. And if you're outside of America, you don't know what this is. Okay. Um, we used to have a show called Cops in America. It was a little reality TV show. My parents never missed it. Where the police would follow, where a crew would follow the police around, and it was a half hour every week, and it was edited and cut down. And yeah. certain things, at least it was terrible and exploitative, but it had more dignity than live PD. Which is not saying much. Live PD is cops, but it's live. And it goes on for what, five hours a night? Yeah. Yeah, it goes on for five hours of live. And if something's not quite happening at time, they'll pull out stock, at, but they won't tell people that it's not live. Regardless, it, I, heard a, I heard a report on this show. It's terrible and it's awful. and. 
they, they, sometimes they don't even ask people for waivers before they put them on the show, and it's just cop is still on. Cop, oh yeah, cops still on, but yeah. Live PD is is terrible. It yeah. just it's it's a, it's a we we are we are a, a a diseased society is what I'm saying. Yeah. Glorifying the necessity of of patrolling. Ugh. All right. Well, now that that's over, let's get to some more of the patrolling the necessities of our our society. Um, I didn't know this was illegal, but apparently it, this is one of those cases. This is not like I didn't know it was illegal to drive with the lights. I didn't know this was illegal, but apparently it is. Um, drunken Florida man riding Segway tells cop he drank nearly two bottles of wine. <laughs> Polk County, Florida. Did you know it's illegal to drive a Segway while intoxicated? Well, Andy Seegers of Polk County found out the hard way that driving drunk while on a Segway can land you in jail. Not only did Seegers, who, uh, 48, drunkenly ride the Segway, but he did so outside the sheriff's office substation on Dunson Road. Uh, uh, sheriff's office lieutenant saw Seegers unsteadily riding the Segway in the middle lane, swerving and impeding traffic. <laughs> Is that really road safe? Uh, they only go like three miles an hour, right? If that. Like, Segways don't, you could walk faster than a Segway. <laughs> Lieutenant said there were other clues that Seegers was intoxicated. He slurred his speech. He spelled of alcohol and he had watery eyes. But the most incriminating factor was that Seegers told Lieutenant he had consumed nearly two bottles of wine. I am so drunk right now. Have, that is one of the, that is like a drunk compulsion that some people have. It's like, I have drunk so much. Don't know. So much. Are there people who don't get drunk and then have to talk about how drunk they are? I don't, I, I, you know what? There are, but they're not white. That is like, <laughs> <laughs> that is, I think that's almost exclusively a white person thing. I am so drunk. I'm so, cause I, 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 that's, ah, uh, but to get to the cop and be like, look, man, you know, I too, I got a piece so bad. Two bottles of wine. Two. You don't even know. Do you have a bathroom? I'll, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Just on a Segway. A Segway. <laughs> so I didn't know still had Segways. I, I thought those were over, but Seegers yeah. was almost at three times the legal limit of .08. Uh, but I so bad for the mall cops that had to wear them because they made them wear bike helmets. Yeah, with the Segways. <laughs> and I'm like, it goes three miles an hour. <laughs> and yet... It was it, it it that was just strip all their dignity. Why don't you just yeah. let th just let them walk for Christ's sake? Just let them walk. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it was just it, I'm gonna drink two bottles of wine and I'm going out on my Segway and it's America. I'm a little disappointed he wasn't chugging the wine while riding the Segway. <laughs> that, that would have be, been that um, would be fucking baller. <laughs> Like, that's living your best life right there. Oh. Just on your Segway chugging. Fuck you! Oh. Now, this last story, this is sort of a Halloween-y story. Um, this is a horror story for homeowners. And I know there's, like, almost none of you out there. Uh, it's Welcome to America. We've destroyed the economy. Um... But uh, the, the story is, uh, if you have a mortgage, especially if you have a mortgage, oh God, this one, th th this story is, this, this is terrifying if you have a mortgage. Here, Muff Dan. Thanks. Are you preparing for this one? No. <laughs> Brace yourselves. No. Um, blood fills Iowa family's <laughs> basement. Horrifying. Nick Lestina and his family of seven were getting ready to put their house on the market until the basement was flooded with animal blood. Their basement was filled with nearly five inches of animal blood, fat, and bones as a result of a drainage from a meat locker next door. All right, this is one of those things where I don't believe in ghosts. Yeah, but... But if I opened up my basement and I walked down and there's like a scene from the freaking de uh, Evil Dead, I'm going to reconsider that shit. I 100% believe in ghosts. 
And I would never have a chance to find out that it was runoff from the meat locker because yeah. I would have already burned and salted the house. I'd be like, is that little lady from Poltergeist still alive? Yeah. Can I call her? I know she's an actress, but maybe she can help. I would have nope the fuck out of there and I would be harassing Jensen Ackles on Twitter. And like, can you come over and salt and burn my house? Lady, I'm an actor. I don't really do that. Please. <laughs> For the last 10 years, the family has lived next to Doll's Meat Locker. But have never had any problems until recently. Uh, Listina said his neighbors were dumping hog and cattle remains down a floor drain, which is connected to his pipes. That is one of those weird things where they mix uh, zoning, residential, and commercial really close to one another. Or I guess this would be industrial, because that's, that's industrial. But um, He immediately reported to the Iowa Department of Natural Resources, which confirmed the substance was animal blood, fat, and bones. Yeah, the Department of Health involved due to the, the hazards. Yeah, after you get over the fact that, oh my god, this is, this is terrifying, um, there's also, oh my god, this is salmonella. Yeah. This is E. coli. This How is... How do you even clean that up? Oh, the, 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 the picture... The never coming out. The picture's killing me here. Just look it at it. It's gonna smell like blood forever. Um... Uh, apparently the, the, the meat processors, they haven't quote, they haven't reached out at all. In fact, they haven't taken any accountability for it. They said it's not their fault and told me good luck. If I want to do anything about it, it's on my dime and schedule. Good luck. There'd be another basement filling up with blood. 